Now, I think we have a missionary. It's time for another missions moment. Thank you. I would like you. <laughs> Sorry to get in your way. I'd like you to meet two young people serving the Lord with YWAM in northern Thailand. And if you have a chance, um, no coffee hour, but at the end of second service, um, you can stop by their table in the back of the gathering place and just say hello or ask any questions you might have. Um, this is Jonathan and Tukta Glass. Um, Tukta grew up in northern Thailand, and this is her first trip to the United States. Jonathan grew up in the U.S., so I'd like to just have them share their stories of how they ended up in northern Thailand and what they're doing there now. And we'll start with Tukta. So hello, my name is Tukta, and I'm from Thailand. Um, I grew up in the Buddhist family, and uh, I haven't heard um, about Jesus or any gospel before until I went to Bangkok, which is the central of Thailand, uh, for the university. And um, I went to the English class that is a, a ministry of YWAM. So they've been sharing about gospel and about Jesus to me. And I finally accepted and believe in Jesus. And after I graduated from the university, I went to do my, uh, the DTS, which is the discipleship training school that run by YWAM. And after that, I joined YWAM full time. And yeah, so I went, I moved back to the north, which is my hometown up there, Chiang Rai, to work with YWAM and to be a staff of the DTS, which is Discipleship Training School. Yeah. Uh, I didn't grow up in Thailand, but <laughs> so I, I grew up partly in Wisconsin in the Richland Center area. And then when I was a kid, my parents joined YWAM, uh, staffing with YWAM in Montana. Way over here. <laughs> and so, and so they, they, they staffed with YWAM for a couple of years in Montana before we moved back to here to Wisconsin, and they've been living in the Newville area for the last 10 or 11 years or so. And so partly from Montana, partly from, well, this area right here. So just down the road from you guys. And so I, I grew up partly in this environment where my parents were staffing with YWAM, and I was seeing people from all over the world, believers from Africa, from Europe, from Asia, from all over, and it opened up my eyes that like the kingdom of God is more than just, I guess that the kingdom of God is international, it's in all these other, it's in all these nations. And so it really opened up my heart to want to bring the kingdom of God to these other nations, to the world. And so when I graduated high school, I joined YWAM. I did my discipleship training school in Hong Kong, over there. And then afterwards, I did a secondary, secondary YWAM school in Montana, which is the School of Biblical Studies, which is a nine-month school where you inductively use the inductive Bible study to study through the entire Bible. And so it was through that that I, I kind of fell in love with the Bible, and I went to Chiang Rai in northern Thailand, to help pioneer the, that same nine-month school, the inductive Bible school in Chiang Rai, Thailand. And so I've been there for the last five and a half to six years. Right now, I'm now leading the school. And so that is how Tukta and I met, was we were both staffing on the same base in Chiang Rai, and we got married through that. And yes. <laughs> there she is. And so... Yeah, and so now we are currently in Chiang Rai, and what we're working with now is, here's a picture of our classroom for this Bible school, and we're working at for this next year to pioneer this school to be bilingual English and Thai. Up to this point, it's only been run in English, but now we're, we're pioneering it to be run in English and Thai, opening up for the Thai people to be able to come and to study the word and to be able to get a foundation in the Bible so that they can go and bring the kingdom of God to their own nation wherever God is leading them, whether that's government or education school or in their families or wherever they're working at, to bring the kingdom of God there. 
So we're excited to do that, to open up the school to the Thai people. Uh, apart from that, we've also been this year developing, kind of taking those tools of the inductive Bible study and condensing it down into a one-week seminar that we've been partnering with the local Thai church to equip local believers and pastors who may not have the nine months to be able to set aside to do the full nine-month school. So we've been working with that, as well as our base is involved in something called Share Bibles, which is a Bible distribution project that we've been excited about, where we are distributing this Bible, where it's, it's the four Gospels and the book of Acts, and we've formatted the, these books in a way where we've split up we split up all the speaking, all the parts into four different colors by who is talking, whether it's black for the narrator, red for God, green for the main character of the book, and blue for all the minor rest of the characters in the book. And so we found that this format really helps to engage the Thai people who are still predominantly a, a communal and oral-based people still. And so it's... That's really helped to facilitate Bible study where the, the people are able to get together in groups, maybe have four people, so you come together, this, that communal style, and say, okay, we've got four colors, we've got four people, how about you read black, you read red, you read blue, you read green, and we'll sit together and have a Bible study. So we've been giving out these Bibles. We have a goal to, to see one of these Bibles get into every home in the nation of Thailand. So just before we left to come here to the U.S., we got a shipment of 20,000 of these Bibles to our base. And so we've been busy at work distributing these in Chiang Rai province first, and we're partnering with, with, other, with local churches, with ministries, with outreach teams that come to Thailand to help distribute these Bibles. And so it's been really cool to see the, how the Thai people have received these Bibles, and it's always nice to be able to give these Bibles and then walk back maybe 10 minutes later and see them sitting there actually reading it. And so that's encouraging. So that's a little taste of some of the stuff that we've been doing, some stuff that God's been doing in, in northern Thailand and Chiang Rai. Uh, if you want to learn more, we are going to have that table in the back. We'd love to talk to you guys. Thank you for having us. <laughs>